Okay, so good morning everyone. Today we will have a case presentation session. We will see some cases, we will discuss them together from the basics to the advanced. I will start with some warm up films because it's a little bit cold. We will do something easy and get our way up from there. We have some nice cases today. I hope you will like it. So, first of all, Zainab, what, what's this modality? What's the images? Barium enema. Do you agree, Basma? Yes. Uh, yes, okay. So, is this a child or an adult? Child. In fact, not only child, it's a baby. It's an infant, okay? And so what does that, wh why you do a barium enema for an infant? What do you think is the reason? Guli. Okay. Delayed muconium. Latif. Tamam. So, for delayed muconium, who are constipated? Okay. What would you use and why? Would you use barium or. Let's <laughs> What kind of contrast you will use? Barium or? Gasographene or low osmolar contrast medium? Low osmolar. Why you use low osmolar? First, first of all, barium will increase constipation when it dries up, it will harden. Even يعني يصلب يحجر الميوكونيوم أكثر makes the meconium even harder and will be very difficult for the poor infant to pass it first second using low osmolar contrast media which we said previously you know, it is high osmolar okay will draw water into the colon making it more loose laxative it's a kind of laxative okay but you should be aware that what? Hydration. From the hydration, you should keep the baby well hydrated. Okay? So in such a case, in child with constipation, whether it's an infant, two, three, four, five years old, six years old, whatever, you try to use low osmolar contrast media or gastrographene to prevent further constipation, to make the things easier for the child. Okay? So... What do you see? Yalla Zainab, Basma, it was Jamaat part one. Lead pipe appearance. Sorry? Basma, I should. Lead pipe appearance. Lead pipe appearance. So what does that mean? So what does that mean? Tamam. So. This is a case of diffuse microcolon leading to delayed passing muconium. You can see this is the colon. I okay. This is the colon, and you can see it's as you said, it's a light pipe appearance. There is no hostration, no fe exactly featureless colon. Okay, and it's diffusely small, and the muconium you can see here is inspissated. Okay, at the maybe ascending colon, somewhat transverse colon, leading to microcolon, delayed passing muconium, and constipation. And using the, the low osmolar contrast media, we draw water into the lumen, making it the, lum, uh, the, uh, the muconium will become more loose and easier to pass. Okay? Let's try another thing. Sorry? Uh, it, uh, it did not pass into the ilium, whether it's ileal or or not. The baby is not, it was not uh, any in intestinal obstruction form. It was just delayed passing in meconium. A few hours, uh, or I think a day or two. Immature colon or, or ileal atresia. I think it's more in the form of immature colon. 
because they, if you see, there is no air fluid level and no signs of small bowel dilatation. Okay? Again, umbar wheel part one. Part one is also it's about يعني, anatomy and pathology. Best, يعني, simple pathologies, common pathologies, not the more common. Of course, there are more cases. Let's study. So let's play about the microcolon. لا اكو لا اكو اكو كيس خاص يعني سبيشالي شو نقول مستنقيها يعني زين سو اجين جماعه البارت 1 دقيقه اوكي في ست اخذتي حقك بعد قول اكس راي اوف ليفت ار شو Okay. With what? Osteolytic lesion. Where is located? Where is it located? Surrounding the fracture. So which one is causing which? The fracture is causing the lesion, or the lesion causing the fracture? Mostly, mostly, أكيد. That's a short fracture. So lesion. <laughs> it is the lesion is causing the fracture. So, is this a young or old or elderly patient? What do you think? Age of the patient? How old? Come on, girl. How old is he? Tomorrow? So he's seven years old. Is he a male or a female? Sofnat, ya Allah, maktub gaddamaj. Female. Okay. So it's a seven year old female presented with a lytic lesion. What would you describe this lesion? Well defined, ill defined, intramedullary, cortical, uh, extra paraosteal, for example. Uh, narrow zone of transition, wide zone of transition, what kind of matrix, the whole thing. When you see a bone lesion, you have to describe all of this. Yellow. Start one by one. Well defined or ill defined? Well defined. Well defined. Narrow zone of transition or wide zone of transition? If it's well defined, it be narrow. صح? By default. Or it may be well defined. Okay? At at least partially well defined. Okay, at least. يعني إذا أريد شوية زين. Expensile, non expensile. Not. Some sort of cortical thinning you can see here and here, indicating some part of some expensile effect. Okay. Is there any calcified matrix with it or not? No. So it's a lytic lesion. Okay. Where is it? Where is it located? The most important thing. Epiphysis, diaphysis, metaphysis. 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 Exactly. Okay. Some sort. I I would say metaphysis for me. But but. حتى لا حد يزعل متدافسس بالضبط حل وسط يعني. Okay. So, what is the iman? What is the name of this sign? Iman. There is a sign. What is it? Yes, typical sign. Come on, girl. Sorry? Exactly. Fallen fracture. There is a fracture here, pathological fracture, طبعاً. With a, this fracture indicating fallen fragment sign, which indicate what? Simple, unicameral, bone cyst. Zen. Minu aku, minu aku. Shino. If I did, if nothing was done, treated the patient, cast, okay, everything is okay. And I repeat the X-ray three years later. What let us see? I did the X-ray. Okay. What will I see? What's the change that I will that I will most likely see? 
سوري شو تعتقدين شو راح اشوف شو راح يتغير اوكي وات ايلس قولي مايجريشن وير خلاص هي هذه تشانس بعد قولي سوري towards the diaphysis exactly you'll see the cyst here as the patient grow the cyst will migrate from the aneurysmal bone cyst will migrate uh, sorry simple unicameral bone cyst I'm sorry simple unicameral bone cyst will migrate from the metaphysis to the towards the diaphysis so you need to compare images you see the old if you see you see it in a different location that's typical كل ما يكبر المريض السيست يجي على السنتر على النص على الوسط on the to the mid part okay and this if fracture is typical of fallen fragment sign which indicates simple unicameral bone cyst however if you do an aspiration of this cyst following the fracture you might find it some blood in it hemorrhagic because of the fracture okay good I had a case a few weeks ago they were I don't know terrified the child has a lesion in the bone and they aspirate it was hemorrhagic and he was in a cast the child was in a cast already and uh, no one knows what's wrong and come on it's just a simple bone cyst with a fracture and so and uh, his father who I think some kind of a doctor I'm not sure I don't know what exactly anyway but it is hemorrhagic we aspirate was blood okay normally we expect to find the blood in a simple bone cyst don't worry go home sorry yes all the fracture who oh, they discovered it due to the fracture زين شوي نصعد نعلل نعلل الدوز زين اه اي فيري 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 انتريستينج كيس This is a 70-70-year-old female patient, okay, presented with, she's healthy, previously, healthy for her age, let's say, presented with sudden onset epigastric pain and vomiting, okay? She was good. Suddenly, she started severe vomiting and complaining of epigastric pain. Okay? Uh, ultrasound was done. It was uneventful, normal. Uh, just uh, distended gallbladder, nothing else. Okay? And she was fasting, so distended, no cholecystitis. Okay? No signs of cholecystitis. So they ordered a CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis, uh, and we did it, and Let's see what happened. Okay. First of all, Saad Wa'ad, this is a case of, what's the exam? CT. With what? Contrast. contrast. How many types of contrast are there? Just loading, just give me a few minutes maybe. Come on, load please. So again, what uh, what kind of contrast? Let's say. I'm sorry for the delay in the loading. It's not more something. Uh, and the patient, by the way, was drinking the contrast and immediately vomiting it, like she made a mess at the. Okay. So it should be an oral and the IV, but if you see this. Just in the stomach, little bit oral contrast. Okay, little bit. What is the kind of the oral the, of the contrast that the patient drinks orally in CT scan? The same as the IV, but diluted. Okay, which is low or smaller contrast, medium, but diluted. What is the dose of the contrast that you give for CT scan IV? The dose. sir. Let's touch him. 
هذا الـ rate of injection for CT angiography 5.45 cc per second is the speed of injection for CT angiogram but what is the dose يعني إجاك واحد وزنه he's 80 kilogram مثلا 1 to 2 milliliter per kg so if he's like 80 kilograms you give from 80 to 160 What's the rate of injection for usual normal routine abdomen CT scan? Two, two, two point five, maybe three. Yeah, and you have some margin, but when you increase the dose, you go for CT angiogram. Okay. And in children, you decrease it even more because the cannula that you will use is very small. Okay. And by the way, just a simple trick: if you have a child with a for example, yellow cannula or the uh, blue, that one that they are so uh, tiny caliber, small caliber, and you need to inject IV in a higher speed of injection. All you do is just add some normal saline to the contrast, to the IV contrast. It will become diluted, it will be much more easier to inject. Even you can inject it manually, not only by injector. Okay? If it will be ruptured, okay? You can inject manual. If you do it without dilution, it will be very difficult to inject. Okay? Just add, like, maybe f few cc's of normal saline. It will be much easier. Okay? Simple trick. Anyway. So, here we have CT scan of the abdomen with oral and IV contrast. Okay? For this lady presented with epigastric pain. Huh. And she was suspected... Their request was suspected pancreatitis. This was the exact history that I received. Okay? To any for full disclosure, Kalin Gul. So someone who is in so severe vomiting and epigastric pain. Anyone sees anything, tell me. Anything significant, yeah. No degenerative changes over this one. I will scroll the images for you. Let's see what, if anybody catches anything abnormal. There was no lab tests. I don't know why they suspected pancreatitis. I mean, epigastric pain and vomiting does not mean always pancreatitis. I don't know why. Varices in the stomach. Varices in the stomach. Mm. Do you agree, Media? It's because okay, there is some hiatal hernia, small hiatal hernia here, but that does not mean, it, and I think this is due to the vomiting. You see some contrast in the esophagus, okay? This is air in the esophagus, okay? Don't worry. So, what else? Um, this is the esophagus, the part, okay? This is the Huh? Air in the wall of the esophagus. Also can be explained by vomiting. By repeated retching and vomiting. Do you think it is thickened? This is the duodenal wall, the second part. Okay? And then it's passing to form the third part here. Okay? And it's going for the to, to, uh, duodenal jejunal. Okay? So. For the first look, okay, let's go for a coronal view, maybe it will help us more. For the first look, that the, apart from distended gallbladder, there is nothing that explains this severe vomiting, okay? It's not like one attack or one episode of vomiting, it's continuous, okay? Do you see anything? Is there any sign of pancreatitis, by the way? Let's go back to the uh, to the exam. <coughs> this is the for the part one people. We need uh, we need some anatomy. This is the second part of the duodenum, okay. And you can see this is the head of the pancreas. This one, and as we go up, you can see this is the body of the pancreas, okay. This one here to the tail, okay, and the tail is. At near the splenic hilum. Okay? Is there any evidence of pancreatitis? No. Okay. 
So, how can we explain this vomiting and epigastric pain in a 70-year-old female with no significant, uh, no non-morbid comorbidities? This one here, you mean? I think it's just due to the, again, it's, she has multiple vomiting episodes. Some, so, and small here, the hernia could be present here. But, and the contrast, and by the way, the contrast is not retained in the esophagus, it's passed to the stomach. Right? Uh, the esophagus is not dilated enough to suggest uh, achalasia, for example, or any lesion that might cause achalasia. In fact, the contrast is mainly seen in the fundus of the stomach, right? Again, let's go for the sagittal recon. I don't know if you see anything. However, now, let's not waste more time. Sorry? Well, yeah, and you have some subcutaneous fat. You can appreciate. She's not very thin, not very obvious. Something in between. She's not anorexic, by the way, because she's 70 years old. And anorexia is mainly of teenage, if you are thinking about that. So, keep in mind, always, 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 one of the main reasons that you have to suspect in every patient presents with epigastric pain and vomiting is what am I? Always keep that in mind. It's a very common presentation, very commonly missed, okay? So, let's go back and see the heart. What do you think of this left atrium? This is a big left atrium. So, we have some mild, okay, pericardial fluid, but mainly, if you see this left atrium, it's big, okay? And if you see the pulmonary veins that are you know, draining into the left atrium, do they look normal to you? For a patient who's not, never had previous uh, heart failure, let's say? They are big, they are congested, they are enlarged. And let's see, look at the left ventricle. Does this look like a normal left ventricle to you? It is dilated, okay? And this indicates impending heart failure. She's having the MI now, and she's going into complete or some sort of cardiogenic shock, okay? No one thought of doing her an ECG. And as soon as we reported this, sent her immediately to the, e uh, to the emergency room. ECG was done. It confirmed MI. Okay? So you can diagnose MI by CT scan. Keep that in mind. Epigastric pain. Unfortunately, I lost, lost one and almost lost the second of my family member with typical this presentation. My uncle and my mom, they both got epigastric pain with backache, repeated severe vomiting with no previous history of cardiac uh, or any significant illness. Uh, I missed one of them, who's my mom. She went away, may her rest in peace. And my, fortunately for my uncle, I didn't miss him. And he went into cath and cabbage and blah, 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 the whole thing, and he's still alive till now, okay? So keep that in mind. Epigastric pain with vomiting is a clue for possible MI. Very common presentation. Sometimes even AF might present as such a case. You see the abdomen is relatively normal for a patient with such a severe vomiting. You will expect some gastric outlet obstruction, intestinal obstruction, some severe form of pancreatitis, but there was nothing, okay? We have time? Okay, we have time for one more case. It's very, this is an, it's not a difficult, it's an interesting case. For surgical approach, exactly. Open and see. <laughs> Sorry? Yes, dilated ventricle, dilated artery.
just a second. Uh, the pancreas appears normal in size, shape, no focal lesion, small here till hernia, gall bladder appears distended, blah, 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 no signs of cholecystitis. The left atrium and left ventricle of the heart appear dilated uh, and might suggest heart failure due to uh, MI. Confirmation by ECG and clinical exam is recommended. Okay? And I had a feedback on her and she, she was an MI. If you do an ECG, just for uh, any further discussion, if she had an ECG and it was normal, what would you think or what would you do next step? I mean, what's going on? Uh, before CT angio, you do brain CT. Brain CT. To confer no, no CVA, no hemorrhage, no whatever. Okay? So I don't know why it's taking a little bit longer than expected. Oh, that's bad. Okay, we can have a chat for a while. So, what else? What is the acquisition? Let's go for basics. The CT scan acquisition. Okay. In what plane? Axial, coronal, and sagittal. The CT scan. When you acquisition, when you say scanning, when it, when it does scanning. In what plane? Axial, sagittal, or coronal? Or coronal? Axial. Take the. Basma. Axial, sagittal, or coronal? Axial. A kid, lo guessing. More kid. Nice. Axial. Okay, but mainly, primarily, what kind, what uh, plane? It's axial, okay? Sometimes you for paranasal sinuses, you can do some sort of coronal acquisition, uh, you can some angulate, not true axial, as you said, but it is axial, okay? Axial. Okay? Axial, okay? So, what is coronal? The, the CT scan that we see just uh, minutes ago. Reconstruction. Reconstruction. What does that mean, reconstruction? What's going on? What do you mean by reconstruction? Yellow ad. Hmm? What do you mean by reconstruction? The computer is rearranging the axial images to make coronal images and sagittal and oblique and whatever you like according to the computer software that you use. Okay? So the coronal images that you are seeing are not really coronal images. They are reconstructed axial images. يعني هي اكزيال ومصفطيها على شكل كورونال او على شكل ساجيتال او على شكل اوبليك بالكمبيوتر. What's the difference of this from uh, MRI acquisition؟ يعني شنو الفرق هذا السي تي عن الاكوزيشن مال ام ار اي؟ بالام ار اي وات بلين دو يو اكواير ذا ايمجز؟ اكزيال كورونال اور ساجيتال؟ اصبر الله عاد انت ها؟ Sorry? Coronal. Zainab, you don't know. Axial. Iman. You do the acquisition in any plane that you like. You can take in sagittal, in coronal, in oblique, in axial, in I don't know what, uh, uh, oblique coronal, oblique uh, axial, uh, whatever you like. You can uh, do the imaging without even moving the patient. The patient is inside the gantry. He's not moving at all. You just tell the computer, tell, take a sagittal, take an axial, take a, I don't know what, okay? Whatever you like, 
the computer will be more than happy to do it for you okay I don't know what's wrong going on here there is something wrong Marf. just a second let's wait and see this one Is it loading? I don't know if there's a problem with the software. Oh, come on. 